Today's video topic is the nitric oxide test. A nitric oxide test, which is also called the pheno test, is done to measure the amount of nitric oxide in your breath. Nitric oxide is usually found in the atmosphere, but the body also produces it when there's an inflammation in the airways. A high amount of nitric oxide indicates inflammation or swelling in the airways. It also helps to diagnose conditions like allergies, eczema, and asthma that result from sensitivity to allergens. How the nitric oxide test works and what you can expect. A nitric oxide test is safe and is usually completed in less than five minutes. It involves blowing into a handheld device just like other pulmonary function tests. The test will be done in your doctor's office and you will most likely get your result that same day. Your doctor will place a clip over your nose and you will have to place your mouth over a mouthpiece, then inhale deeply and exhale into the device until you hear a beep. This process will be repeated a few times. Your doctor will monitor your heartbeat from a computer throughout the test. Try to avoid caffeine, alcohol, smoking, and nitrate-rich foods an hour before the test so that they don't impact your results. Meaning of a nitric oxide test. The results of your test determine whether there is swelling or inflammation in your airways. Nitric oxide is measured in parts per billion. For adults, a higher than normal level is more than 40 parts per billion, while for children and adolescents, it is more than 25 parts per billion. If it is higher than normal, then there is inflammation. What are some other testing options? Aside from a fractional exhaled nitric oxide test, your doctor might use other tools for a diagnosis like listening to your breath with a stethoscope and looking for signs of wheezing when you exhale. They might also ask about what other symptoms you have. Symptoms that happen along with high nitric oxide levels include chest tightness, coughing, and difficulty breathing. Your doctor might also ask you to carry out other pulmonary function tests like 1. Spirometry. Spirometry measures the amount of air you breathe in and out of your lungs. It helps to check how well your lungs work. Just like a nitric oxide test, you have to inhale and exhale into a mouthpiece. 2. Challenge test. If your symptoms are triggered by certain activities or substances, then your doctor might suggest a challenge test. You will be exposed to a possible trigger, such as physical activity or an allergen, then you'll take a spirometry test. 3. Bronchodilators It is quite difficult to complete lung function tests on children, so doctors might first prescribe a bronchodilator if the child has signs of asthma. Bronchodilators open up the airways and make breathing easier. If their symptoms improve after taking the medication, asthma is a likely diagnosis. 4. Pulse oximetry tests. This test measures the oxygen in your blood cells. It is done by wearing a pulse oximeter on your finger. Low oxygen levels indicate a respiratory issue. 5. Imaging tests. Symptoms of allergic conditions can mimic other conditions like acid reflux disease, sinusitis, congestive heart failure, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Your doctor might use an X-ray or CT scan of your chest and sinuses to rule out other conditions. They can also order an upper endoscopy to rule out acid reflux or a phlegm sample to rule out infections. Next steps after a diagnosis. If a nitric oxide test helps to confirm your diagnosis, then your doctor will determine the best treatment depending on the severity. Treatment includes an inhaled corticosteroid to reduce airway inflammation, quick relief bronchodilators to open up the airways, and if your symptoms are triggered by allergies, your doctor might prescribe allergy medication or recommend allergy shots. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.